I'm going to do this poem called Men of the Holy Order, which I've done once before for Phil. I am a parable. I've kissed the serpents. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. They sit in righteous indignation, a paradox soaked in iniquity, the gross injustice to your name. We walked in as lambs to the slaughter, awaiting the endowment of biblical doctrine, uplifting hymns and praise dances. We believed in safe havens, hoping to be escorted into Nirvana by the shepherds to the flock, but the wolf charades around in a red cape. The ritual in Geminated says, break bread and eat, this is my body. Drink of this wine, this is my blood. All propaganda to the Holy Communion, lacking verisimilitude. Flames dance on candle wicks as my name became defined by ambiguity. My back stiffening was savagely rode like golden unicorns, taking flight to blue skies, turning me into a telltale story, wishing myself an urban legend thrown into obscurity, an innocent girl in vestibules. Oh, forgive me, Father. For I have sinned. Beyond the sweet aromatic of incense and silent picture shows, I knelt before a self-prophesized version of your representative, eliciting mediocre talents I ascertained in fulfilling gratifications behind the reredues. He was the incubus of my nightly dreams. Let the atrophy of my body sit upon their tongues. I am a dead man walking. Impurity seeped through my pores. Sacrilegious practices turned confessional boosts into brothels. They hid their clerical collars beneath varnished pews. Men of the holy order, we were maniacal. Oh, forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I came in with eyes of a child, and now I am what I detest. Fire-breathing dragons just don't live in empty castles, exclusively directed in fairy tales. The wizardry of magic is waved and stamped by the seemingly approval of the Vatican. I was always told children should be seen and not heard. Oh, forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Let the onslaught of stones be casted down, don't save me. I'm an extraterrestrial version of myself, the cyborg of humans, the infamy of loud noises in a busy city that no one hears. I'm not even a headline, just a speck of a dust molecule among millions. No one can see me, but I exist. I have my own crown of thorns piercing into my temples. Let me go back. Let me go back to slithering through abandoned tenements, being a strumpet walk in the dock, soliciting my services beneath bridges. But Jesus, Jesus touched the water, and the ripples produced the reflection of truth. I clapped my hands with morning glory. He heard my cry, and a paragon of angels surrounded me, telling me the secret of salvation. They changed my name, and when mortality ends, I will be covered in white light as my garment, released from my servitude and cut from my crucifix. Oh, I will have come through the valley to walk on mountain tops with lilies at my feet. Dilated pupils will have new sight, brows unfurled, covered in the blood of lambs, and I will fear no evil. Oh, forgive them, Father. Forgive them, for they have sinned. Woo! All right. All right. Woo! Thank you, girl. Thank you. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful.